Hey, what's up, Salt Strong? This is Justin, and I want to talk to you guys today about gear ratio on different inshore spinning reels. This is a hot topic. This is one of the things that you guys are looking for when you're trying to decide on your next inshore spinning reel, and I feel like it's actually been one-sided, and I kind of want to go into what gear ratio is, what are the benefits of a slower or a higher speed gear ratio, and really what are you looking for at the end of the day as an inshore angler? What's important to you for your style of fishing? So some examples that I have here in front of me, I have the Legalis LT2500XH. This XH model right here is what denotes Daiwa's higher gear speed ratio. So in the example of the Legalis, this is a six two to one gear ratio, okay, which means for those of you that might not understand exactly what gear ratio is, let's put this up to the camera. One full turn of this handle means that this rotor will rotate 6.2 times. So one full turn of the handle equates to 6.2 rotations of the rotor around this spool. And in general, that would mean that you're gonna have more line come back onto this reel in a shorter period of time because there's more revolutions of the rotor. Now, another example that I have is the original Daiwa BG 2500. And if you just kind of look at the specs here on the box, it shows that this gear ratio is a 5.6 to one. So technically it's a little bit slower. That means that for every full turn of the handle, you have 5.6 to one rotations of the rotor. But at the end of the day, I think what a lot of anglers might forget on gear ratio is that a lot of people go towards the higher gear speed model, the higher gear ratio, this 6.2 to 1 by Daiwa. But a lot of times what you're really aiming for is what's called inches per turn or IPT. They're all denoted a little bit differently on the box. So on the Legalis, the 2500DXH model, it shows that for every full turn of the handle, you're gonna get 34.5 inches of line back onto the spool. That's great, I mean, that's that's a lot of line, guys. We're, we're talking about just about three feet every full turn of the handle, okay? But what I wanna point out is that you noticed the regular BG2500 has a much slower gear ratio at 5.6, but if you take a look, that inches per turn is still pretty high. We're at 33.2 inches per turn, but we're at a much slower gear ratio. Uh, and I guess much is relative. 6.2 to 5.6 is not a lot, but that's what I think a lot of anglers need to take into consideration is with gear ratio on spinning reels, the idea for having a higher gear speed spinning reel is to be able to bring your line back in faster. But if we're looking at truly how much line you're bringing back, there really isn't that much difference between the Legalis and the Daiwa BG2500. The gear ratios may say they're different, but in terms of inches per turn, they're about the same. So really, what separates both styles of spinning reels? Here's really what it boils down to. Kind of like on a bicycle, okay, when you're heading uphill, uh, you would ideally want to drop down into a lower gear to have more torque, right? Because if you are pedaling, 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 and you're really not going anywhere, and you're, you're moving uphill, you have all of that resistance that you're fighting when you're, pet, when you're pedaling that bike uphill. So in that similar mindset, um, lower gear ratios will mean more torque. So a higher gear ratio when you're under load is going to have a little bit more resistance when you're hooked up to a fish. And really that's where your rod comes into play. All of that power and backbone of the rod is really what you're using to fight the fish. But in those scenarios where you're fishing on bottom or you're fishing uh, bait out at a distance and you wanna have a little bit added cranking power, having a lower gear ratio is going to come in handy. So really that's kind of what separates, you know, if you just look at a Daiwa Legalis against a Daiwa BG, the Daiwa Legalis is lighter, this model is a higher gear ratio, and it does have a little more inches per turn by maybe about an inch, but the BG2500 is a little bit heavier because of that metal body for rigidity. It has about the same inches per turn, but it has a lower gear ratio. And that means that when you're hooked up, 
under a load, you're gonna feel less resistance when you're winding down on that fish that you're fighting. So that's really what separates both reels. I, I can't really say which one's better than another. I think that there's advantages to having a higher gear speed ratio when you hook a fish and he starts running towards you. You have a little bit faster pickup, but then at the same time, you have about the same inches per turn on the Daiwa BG2500. So really the only difference that separates these two is weight, maybe some drag ability, uh, the line capacity is about the same. But if we're just talking about gear ratio, I wanted to point out really what separates a higher gear speed spinning reel, what are the advantages or the disadvantages of it, and why you might want to consider a spinning reel with a lower gear ratio but about the same inches per turn if your focus is to get more line back on your spinning reel. So that's just a preliminary look at different gear ratios of two popular inshore spinning reels. I think a lot of people need to take into consideration their style of fishing, what they're going to be targeting, whether they're live bait or dead bait guys, or they're strictly artificial guys and they want weight reduction. There's all these factors to take into consideration when choosing your next in inshore spinning reel. Uh, me personally, I've kind of always erred on the side of having a little more rigidity, I uh, drop my gear ratio speed so I have more cranking power. Um, but there's a lot of guys that love throwing artificial lures all day and they wanna go with something that's a little bit lighter uh, and they try to go for the higher gear speed model. So there's pros and cons to both, but I just kinda wanted to touch base on it and let you guys know more information on gear speed, gear ratios, and inches per turn so you can make a better decision on what your next inshore spinning reel is going to be. I hope this tip was helpful to you guys. Please leave a comment in the blog post. Let us know if, there, if you have any questions, anything uh, you'd like to know more about these particular spinning reels, uh, gear ratio, inches per turn. We'd be more than happy to help you out. You can find either of these two spinning reels on our shop page, fishstrong.com. Definitely head over there and check it out. Uh, and if you guys are one of our insider members, you can earn up to 20% off of either of these spinning reels. And guys, if you haven't heard of Salt Strong or the Insider Club, we are the best inshore fishing saltwater club in America because we literally guarantee that you're going to start catching more fish in less time. And we do that by providing you with premium education, an exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on all different types of saltwater tackle. So guys, head on over to saltstrong.com and we will see you in the insider club soon.